I'm Heidi Hisrick, and these are my special guests. Lily Hisrick, Taylor. And I'm Jeremy. And today, we are going to teach you the language of anatomy. Regional terms. Which are regional terms. Yes. Very good. Okay, so girls, do you know any terms for any of the parts of the body? Any fancy terms? No. So there are 30 regional terms that students learn in human body systems. And Jeremy took it about a year ago. Let's see how many he remembers. Oh, God. I, I can't just... Okay, cephalic, anticubital, um... Uh, also, please enjoy the tag on his women's lab coat. <laughs> Heidi Hisser sponsored. You can buy one on Amazon. Okay, so if you click on the Google Doc in the description of the video, you will see a list of all 30 of the terms. Now we're going to write the 30 terms on masking tape, but you could also use post-its or duct tape or anything that you whatever want. Else works. Yeah, whatever works. Jeremy, show us your terms. Okay. As many as you can hold. You got them all, you spelled them all right. Okay, Excellent, so. spelling matters. And we like to use masking tape because it, it's easier to peel off. You okay. can use duct tape, but it's really gonna hurt on certain places, yep. right? Yeah. Right? You can True. use post-it notes, but we like to write it nice and big with Sharpie on masking tape. And now the fun part. We're gonna see how much Jeremy remembers. So Jeremy and I are social distancing, so I can't help him. I can only direct him <laughs> via words. So here we go. He has not studied ahead of time. It's been a year. We're going to start with oral, Jeremy. Oh, no. Okay. You know, maybe we shouldn't start there because once we tape your mouth shut, you're not going to be able to talk. So let's start with femoral. Oh, wait. Or, or maybe we can just go in whatever order you peel them off. Yeah, How about that? Well, just do that. Okay, okay. Okay. Go femoral. <laughs> This is femoral now. So, no. that's not your femoral region. <laughs> Where's your femur? Okay, I'll give you a hint. The etymology, it means thigh. Okay, good. That's your femoral well, region. It's broke, so. That's okay. okay hold on. Go with it. So, it's the area around and containing your femur bone, which is your thigh bone. So, he did femoral. Gluteal. Okay, gluteal. Nice. Turn around and show us your gluteal region. There we go. Thank it's you. your bootay. So hold on, hold on. We got to get the etymology and stuff. Uh, gluteal, gluteal. Sorry, I'm looking at my thing. I think it just means butt. Yeah, it means rump. Rump, which is an old-fashioned word for the booty. So Jeremy does not remember where sacral is. I remember this one because it's actually biblical. It comes from the word meaning sacred. And we call this the sacral region because it was considered the sacred bone after a sacrifice, a burned sacrifice. So it's where your sacral and coxal vertebrae are. Your tailbone. Your sure. tailbone. So, there you go. Turn around so right we can see because it is, yeah, a little lower even. Okay, well. Like really you're, okay, yeah. that's higher. Oh. <laughs> like oh. right above the butt crack. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so what's up next? Tarsal. Tarsal. You remember this one? Um. Yes, ankle. Oh. Tarsal means ankle or instep, and it's the seven bones yeah. of your ankle. Yes. All right, what's next? Lumbar. Okay, do you remember that one? Yep. Down here. Yeah, a lot of people have lumbar pain, lower back pain. So it's the area of your vertebrae below your chest. Um. And it's, it is on the back side of your body. Occipital? Your Turn. Turn so we can see you. Head, but, but it's the back of the head. So it's the back of the yep. head. Yep. Occipital literally means back of the head. Yeah. Okay. And it's also the bone in the back of the head and that lobe of the brain in the back of the head. Yeah. Those are both named occipital. Um, okay. What do you got now? Sternal. Sternal. Do you remember this Sternum. one? Yes. So the sternal region is where your sternum or your breastbone is. And it is, it means chest. That's its etymology. So it's on the front or anterior side of the body. What do you got? Holy cranial, is that knee? 
Um, no. Good guess, but it's elbow. part of. Yes. Yeah, okay. Oli means elbow, and crany means skull. So a lot of my students call this the weenus. It's the pointy part of the elbow. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> but its name literally means elbow skull because it's like the head of the True. elbow. I love that one. Oh, okay, what do we got? Inguinal. Inguinal. Yeah. What's it mean? I don't know what it means. Your crotch or groin yeah, region. So if anyone ever, if you're playing Simon Says and they say touch your inguinal region, don't do it. Don't. It's the weird. area between your legs. It's the crotch. It's the region with your genitals. Um. We played Simon Says Regional Terms. Yes. Simon Says Regional Terms is awesome. Okay. What's next? Buccal. Cheek. Buccal is cheek. Good. Abdominal. Abdominal? Yeah, abdominal. Your abdomen. Yep. Region. So this is your belly region. Nasal. Okay. Nose. Very good. Nasal is nose, and its etymology is just nose. Pelvic. Uh-huh. <laughs> you look absurd. <laughs> um, it's your fault. <laughs> Dude, it smells like this. What this is? <laughs> Umbilical. I okay, wait, wait. So pelvic. Pelvic, um, your pelvic region, it means basin. I think that's kind of cool because your pelvis is round and shaped almost Thank like. You. Yeah, like all of your abdominal organs just rest down in your pelvis and it means basin. And I think that's pretty cool. Um, what, what are you on now? Umbilical. Okay, umbilical. Is this like, I don't know. Okay. What do you What do you think? Like where your umbilical cord was. Right. So is your belly button way up there? Nope. Okay. <laughs> I'm just okay. So. Trying here. <laughs> yeah, it's it's where your belly button Don't is. Don't worry. That's your umbilical. So it comes from the root navel, um, and your navel is another name for your belly button. Uh, coxal. Is that somewhere over here? It's your hip. Yep. So your coxal region is part of your pelvic region, and it, it means like hip. Uh, that's its etymology. It's the part that flares out that you can feel on the side. See if you can feel your coxal region. Yep. Yeah. I used to have a student named Amy Cox, and we called her Amy Hip sometimes just for fun. Yeah. Good anatomical jokes. <laughs> okay, what's next? Thoracic. Okay. Up here. Very good. So that's your chest. Both the front and the back are thoracic, and its etymology is just chest. It's the area inside your rib cage. Digital. Fingers. Yep. Where else could you put it? Your toes. Yes. And I always remember digital because we say that we live in a digital age, and that's because we use our fingers all the time to, yeah, to communicate, right? Um, so it's fingers and toes. Okay. Carpal? Do you remember that one? Uh, is, that your, no, is that your ankle? Or? Do you remember what carpal tunnel syndrome is? Oh, yes. It's your... Um, yes. That is my way to remember carpal because some people get carpal tunnel syndrome. So it comes from etymology pluck, like plucking feathers, or wrist. And it's the eight bones of your wrist. There's and thinking it. about carpal tunnel is a good way to remember it. Antecubital. <gasps> I love this one. Okay. So, inner elbow, right? Yeah, before. Ante means before, and cubit means elbow. So, it literally means like the front of the elbow. They're, the way I remember this is antechambers are rooms that come before other rooms. The antebellum area or antebellum era was the time before slavery ended. Um, so, ante means before. A N T E. Cephalic. Yes. Head region. Yes. You have any good hints for cephalic? Um, I used to. Do you remember what a cephalopod is? I do not. Octopus? Oh. Squid? Yes. Do you remember what pod means? They're like, they're little like... Means feet. Oh. So a cephalopod That's... is just a head with feet. Okay. An octopus or a squid is a cephalopod. So cephalic means head. Last and it's one. the whole head region. Oral. Oral. Is that the last one? Yeah, we did it all. What about vertebral? I think we've already did it. No way. Turn around. You're missing vertebral. Oh. Well, hold and calcaneal. No, you probably have no. a whole board. Dude. Oh. Dude. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
vertebral. Your vertebrae. Good, good luck. Yeah. I like this Somewhere one. It means uh, to turn or twist. And that's because our vertebrae allow us to twist or turn. Okay. And it's your entire backbone is your vertebral region. Your patellar region. Patellar. No clue. Really? Knee? Do you remember what your, yeah. Your patella is that little bone in your knee. Ooh, this is a fun one. Brachial? I mean, they're, hold on, dude. You have to like get the, the cool info here. <laughs> so patellar means shallow dish. That's the etymology because the patella bone is like a plate almost. That's cool. Don't roll your eyes at me. I what else you got? Up <laughs> okay, what's brachial? Stomach? Arm. Arm. Oh, yeah. Okay. So brachy means arm. Brachial means arm. And it's your entire arm. Okay. Horrible. So it includes things oh, like the olecranal region and the anticubital region. Those are parts of the brachial region. But it refers more to the long bones, like the humerus, radius, and ulna. So your orbital is your eyes. Yes. You orbit around. Very good. Yeah, it means the etymology is a round or wheel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your favorite, calcaneal. Oh, yes. Ankle, right? No. No. Ankle was tarsal. Yes, that. Stick it on the, it's the heel. Heel. Oh, so oh, there's oh. actually a bone called the calcaneus, and that's the largest bone of your heel, your tarsal region. And so that's your calcaneal region, your heel. Okay, axillary. I remember this one because of axe deodorant. Armpit. Yes. Be careful. It does. It's not auxiliary. Lots of people want to say auxiliary, but it's auxiliary. axillary. And the etymology of axillary comes from wing, I believe. Double check on my notes here. Is... Yeah. It comes from wing. No. Put it in your pit. Okay, it's the well... pit. Yeah. Up in the pit in the crack. I always tell my girls they have to wash all their crevices. So sometimes if they're just showering quickly, they don't get everything, but you got to get the axillary region, right? And the inguinal region. Okay, Cervical. what else? Cervical. Cervical. Spine? No. Close. It's the most superior part of your spine. Okay. I remember this one because the opening to your uterus is called your cervix, and that's because it's the neck of the uterus. So down here. So no, the neck, dude. Your neck. Oh, well. It's... <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Ow. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, well. Do the best you can. It's there. So you have seven cervical vertebrae. Those are the seven vertebrae of your neck. Okay. And okay. fun fact, how many do giraffes have? Um, too many. No, they also have seven. Same okay. as us. Oh, They're I just a lot that. bigger. Oh, scapular. This is your, uh, this. Uh-huh. And it means, it means blade. The etymology is blade, and it's your shoulder blade. Popliteal. This is my favorite one! I thought calcaneal was. Um, I have so many favorites. Okay. It is posterior to the patellar region. Ow. Oh, so below? Behind. Posterior oh, so means the back. It's the back of the knee. There you go. That oh, fold so right there. Okay. Oh. No, it has to go up in the fold. There you go. That is your popliteal region. You have a big artery there called That's your it. popliteal Great. artery. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I okay, do a little spin for us, Jeremy. Beautiful. Now cover your mouth. Did you cover it already? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, you didn't. That's your chin. Put well, it over your mouth. I don't know where it's at, so it's not going to cover. Okay, part, which is when you peel... We almost forgot the best part, which is when you peel all of it off. It's a sp <laughs> if you think it's fun with masking tape, you should try it with duct tape, right? I, at first, I didn't have masking tape. I had to get some from my Walmart order. And I was like, maybe we'll use duct tape. Okay. Only use bu duct tape if you really hate the person that you're taping up. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Usually in class, we tape each other, we get in teams, and each do 15 terms and tape them on each other. But during pandemic times, we're just probably going to tape ourselves as best we can. Right, Jeremy? True. Yeah. And then you have only yourself to blame when it hurts taking it off. 
I got nobody to blame. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jeremy, for being a special guest. So I play this game with my students called Blind Simon Says. And the reason it's called Blind Simon Says is because if they have their eyes open, they can see what everyone else is doing, and then they just do what everyone else is doing. But when they're blind, they have to try to do it without seeing what everyone's doing. And having a room full of students doing this is like one of my favorite activities of the year. So here we go. <laughs> blind Simon Says with Jeremy. Okay, Simon Says close your orbital region. Very good. Simon says, touch your occipital region. Oh, look at that. He got it. Simon says, point to your gluteal region. Nice. Okay. Um, Simon says, touch your patellar region. All right. Uh, point to your pelvic region. Simon didn't say it. <laughs> okay. One more time. One more time. Okay. Simon says, close your orbital region. Touch your coxal region. Ha ha, you didn't fall for it. Very good. Simon says, point to your abdominal region. Mm. Touch your inguinal region. Don't do it. Don't do it. Good job. <laughs> okay. Simon says, point to your cephalic region. Nice. Simon says, wiggle your digital region. Good. Simon says, flex your brachial region. Flex it? Your brachial region? It's your arm? Your arm? Brachial? Yeah. <laughs> Very good. You still have your olecranal label on. Simon says, touch your olecranal region. Very good. And then when we play, we just gradually say, like, oh, you're out, so and so. If you're not touching this region, you're out. Yeah. All right. Thumbs up. Thank you, Jeremy. You're awesome.